what is up you guys my name is Catherine and this is Charlotte she's my newest family member first of all if you're here from reddit thank you so much you guys literally made my week this is the first video I filmed since I got shared on there that made me so so happy I love you guys so you guys might be wondering why I'm in black and white right now so that's because today I'm going to be doing the random color palette challenge so this challenge actually doesn't exist I think I made it up I've seen and Jay Kissa and a couple other YouTubers do the random color challenge where they just close their eyes and point to colors in an eyeshadow palette and those are the colors that they have to use but I've never seen someone do this so if I'm wrong definitely correct me but pretty sure this is new so what I'm doing is I am going on to a website called coolers.co there's a couple similar websites out there and you just hit the space bar to generate a random color palette so I'm generating a random color palette palette and the colors from that color palette are the colors that I have to use to do my eyeshadow so I'm just doing this because I really love colored eyeshadow and I have a lot of colorful eyeshadows but I've just been really uninspired to create looks with them lately so I thought this would help get me out of my comfort zone and I thought it might be a fun challenge for me and possibly other people to do so if you want to see the colors that end up on my face today then just keep watching one last thing before I get started if you're not already Ready, if you could subscribe to my channel really does mean so so much to me when people subscribe to my channel and let's do some eyeshadow also side note if my AC is loud in the background I apologize it's 90 degrees today I couldn't just have my AC off this whole video I would literally just sweat the eyeshadow off as I was doing it so I'm sorry I hope it's not too annoying rules for this challenge so rule number one is that I have to use a website to randomly generate this color palette I can't just be like googling color palettes or whatever the second rule is that I have to use every color in the randomly generated color palette on my eyes today the third rule is that I can only use the colors in the randomly generated color palette on my eyes today so I can't just be like oh let me throw some brown in my crease and then put all five of the colors on my lid no it's a challenge we're challenging ourselves today and the only exceptions to that rule are if I want to do a cut crease or a half cut crease I can use concealer to do that and then put one of the eyeshadow shades on top of that and then if I want to do eyeliner at the end of the challenge I can do a black or brown eyeliner the fourth rule or I guess more just explaining the challenge is the color can be matte shimmer glitter liquid eyeshadow powder eyeshadow anything as long as the color matches and if I don't have a color that matches I have to mix one to get as close as possible to the color so I am super excited for this I hope you guys are excited and let's generate our color palettes all right, so this is the website that I'm using today. This one is called coolers.co. There's a ton of websites like this one. You can just Google random color palettes, but I'll link this one and a couple others down below. So when you load the website and click start the generator, it automatically generates one, but I wanna go ahead and generate it on camera. So you just hit the space bar. Ooh, so this is our color palette today, okay. So you can see this here. I'm also going to screenshot it and put it up on the screen. That way you guys can get an idea for what these colors truly look like. All right, this is exciting. So I'm just gonna take a minute to go through my eyeshadows, pull out colors that match these colors, and then we're gonna start applying. All right, I have picked out my eyeshadows, primed and concealed my eyelids, and I am ready to go. So I'm starting out with the green shade, Fern Green, and to mix that shade, I'm going to be mixing this shade from ColourPop called Team Captain, and then this green from the NYX Ultimate Bright Palette. So I'm mixing these on a BH Cosmetics Studio Pro 16 brush, and I don't wear green eyeshadow a lot because for some reason it always pulls really gray on me. So we're gonna see how this goes. So I'm starting out lightly because I'm scared. Oh my god, why is this skipping so much? What the heck? That's pretty great. 
green, I would say. Next, I'm gonna mix the shade Arsenic. So that's the tealy gray color. So to mix that, I'm going, going in with the shade Plur from my Bad Habit Beauty Aftershock palette and this little teal shade from the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. I feel like these two combined are gonna really get close to that shade. So I'm dipping into these on this little Kylie brush. It's from her Valentine's Day 2017 collection, I believe. So I'm putting this on my inner and outer corner. We're doing a little halo look today. So next I'm gonna be doing this center lid Next I'm gonna be doing this center lid shade and I really wanna make sure that color stands out in the middle of my eye. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of concealer on the center of my lid. I don't even have to tell you what concealer I'm using. You already know, it's the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So the lid shade is going to be my Essence Metal Shock Eyeshadow in the shade Solar Explosion. I feel like it's pretty darn close to this shade Light Khaki. It's really hard to tell on the screen, but I'll pop it up on the screen of course. second hindsight 2020 the concealer under this wasn't the best idea because all the liquids are just sort of blending together so I'm gonna go do my foundation because we're going towards under eye territory and then I'm gonna come back put some more gold on this lid and do the rest of the eye look all right I am foundationed so I think to rectify the amount of liquid on my eyes right now, I'm gonna have to go over with a powder eyeshadow. So I'm using the shade Better Bitter from my ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. Definitely similar, I think we'll be all right. To everyone watching this cringing at the amount of product that I have on my eyelids right now, I'm sorry, it just worked out this way. <laughs> so I'm using the flat end of a Naked 2 brush. We're just going. Okay, it definitely looks oodles better now that I don't have just pounds of unpowdered liquid on my eyelids. We're still just gonna put the teeniest little bit of glitter though because glitter. Alright, so we're going into under eye territory. This shade that I'm going to use or try to match is called Zinwaldite Brown. It's a very, very red, deep brown. And the shade that I'm going to use is the shade Unbridled from the Lorac Unzipped palette. So I'm going in with a BH Cosmetics Studio Pro 11 brush. And I'm just lining my whole under eye and then bringing this shade up just a little bit. And then we're gonna blend 
blend that into the blue. And then I'm also going to blend my under eye out with the blue, which might be a bit of a choice because blue on the under eye is always iffy. And then I'm just gonna add a little dot of this essence shadow. And then I'm topping the Essence Shadow with this NYX glitter. I low-key feel like I look like I'm crying glitter, um, such is life. We have one shade left to do. So this shade is called Vanilla, but it's totally like a very light, light green. Like if I had the shade Cube from the Subculture palette, I would totally use that right now, but I don't. So I'm gonna mix these two shades from my ColourPop My Little Pony palette. These are the shades Firefly and Snuzzle. And this is going to be the inner eye highlight today. Of course, this is pulling way more blue than green. All right, I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face makeup, pop on some mascara, and I'll be back. All right, so this is the final look for today's video. Definitely not the best eyeshadow look I've ever done, but also not the worst. This is definitely not a look that I would ever in a million years have done on my own, so the challenge definitely served its purpose, got me out of my comfort zone, and it was just a lot of fun to do. So even if it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, I had fun. That's what's important. So I challenge you guys, if you're someone who makes videos or if you're just someone who loves makeup, to go generate a random color palette and do the random color palette challenge. Get yourself out of your comfort zone, have fun with it. And if you do decide to do the random color palette challenge, definitely tag me in it. I would love, love, love to see it. It really would make me so happy if people started doing this. Like, I can't even describe how cool that would be. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!